everybody! It's about noon <laughs> and we're just, well Kevin's been up for a while. I just got up and got dressed and getting ready to get started. We're going to do some decorating today and Kevin's going to do some work in the garage for Halloween stuff. And finally, it's only 72, 72 degrees today! Yay, we have the doors open, so no air conditioning on right now. And you kind of went to that Nobody corner. can. I went fast. Nobody yep. can see it. People can pause. It'll be just blurry. So, and I got my little witch's hat on, because I, when I get do this stuff, I get really hot, so I have to keep my hair in a ponytail. So, we're going to do a couple of quick things, then Kevin's going to go pick up some lunch, and then we're going to get started. Okay, so I told you guys I have a few odds and ends left to do in this room, which is the bar. So I am going to work on that right now. Kevin's in the garage doing a little bit of stuff that I need him to do for me to finish in this room. So I will keep you guys updated. See you later. Hi, baby. What are you doing? Attempting to unclog the sink. <laughs> All right, here we go. Under the sink. Okay. Ugh. Do you want me to film you? No. Okay, bye. Bye. Well, this is not turning out to be very good. Kevin was trying to unclog the sink, and it wasn't working, so he went under the counter and was taking the uh, pipes, I guess the trap pipe or whatever, apart and it kind of overflowed all over in the counter, in the cabinet, and all over on the floor. So we have a mess now. So babe, I'm yeah. sorry. Having a bad time, huh? Yep. Soaking my brand new cabinets. That's what angers me more than anything. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm going to turn this off and I'm going to get out of your way. All right. If you need me for anything, just call. Okay. I love you. Love you too. I'm sorry. What you been putting down the sink? I didn't do anything. I've been in bed all day. Just kidding. Bye. Bye. So guys, as you can see, Kevin is not having a very good day. I've been in bed all day because I woke up at about 7 o'clock, I think 8 o'clock, somewhere in there with a massive migraine. And I had to take two of my my. Do you need me? Nope. <laughs> He's photobombing me! <laughs> okay. So what are we doing? Well, th this has happened before, you may suspect, and I've got this little bladder thing that I just shoved down to the pipe, because the, the clog normally is somewhere in this pipe. So I'm going to stick this thing in, and what it's going to do is blow up like a balloon, and then force whatever's there out of the way. Okay. So, now I have to turn the water on. I probably pushed right through the clog with this thing, but, uh, yeah, that way I can just force it out with the hose without it coming back. So now what do we do? I put it back together and see if it works. Is it okay? You want me to toss it over? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay. Thanks. Hey, it was a good toss. Uh, Just because you can't catch. I can't show him getting up because that will show decorations. 
So Kevin went and bought these nice little PP pee -pee pads for freckles. And they're supposed to have this pheromone thing or something in it that is supposed to attract them to go pee on it. And, well, he did go poop on it for some reason. We didn't get up early enough, I guess, to let him out to go poop. So he did go poop on it, but he peed right next to it. So Kevin had to pull out the carpet cleaner again today. It's like we're carpet cleaning this floor every single day because of freckles. Hey, freckles. Because of freckles. And because of Bootsy, wherever Bootsy may be hiding right now. So, I don't know what to do anymore. Hey guys, so I finally, I know I keep saying I got one room finished, but I keep finding things that aren't finished. So, I have three things left to buy to complete this room. And four things left to do to finish this room 100% completely until the day of the party. Um, I'll tell you what I have to buy still. I have to buy moss for our village. I have to buy glow sticks for the day of the party. Then the last thing I still have to finish in here, you can't point to it, Kevin, is some webbing around the bookshelves and the well the movie shelves because there's no books on those shelves and then this room will be done except for <coughs> the bar being completely stocked and ready to go oh oh and then <laughs> i'll probably move stuff off of this little stereo table thingy that we have right here and put something spooky on that table. And then this room will be done. Are you done? Um, yes. And this is our newest prop. A dead cat. Laying on the bar. Not moving. At all. Oh, oh. there he goes. <laughs> okay. We're about to go dark. No phones, no computers, no internet, no interruptions whatsoever for the next 45 minutes to an hour so we can watch Daryl. I'm ready. I got him. Got the crossbow. Even wearing the beautiful crossbow earrings that Christopher Treat Show sent me. Yay. No one try and reach us. Hey, everybody! Guess what time it is? We do this every day. How can you not know what time it is? Eh. So, don't wear one. Anybody home in there? Sounds hollow to me. We'd like to start off by saying congratulations to Nikki and John, Iris and Doll made her appearance on October 16th. Congratulations, guys. She is a beautiful little girl. If you guys haven't seen it yet, I know it's on Instagram. I don't know if they put it up on YouTube or Twitter as of yet, but go by, check it out. So... Shaleen. Shaleen TV. Welcome to the neighborhood. Shaleen. You see Takana? Takina. Takina. You, I'm not good with names. Sorry, guys. You see Takina. Welcome to the neighborhood. I went by and checked out some of her videos, guys, on her channel. 
pretty good. Goodbye. Check him out. Give her a thumbs up and subscribe. And Lucy, I yelled at him when he shot Bones, and then when he shot Baby Bones, I yelled at him. I really did. Then I shot her. And, yeah, and then he shot me. But you're in trouble. I am an equal to opportunity. Shooter? Shooter. You're in trouble. What else is there? Because Lucy's going to have bones haunt you. He, he haunts us all the time. Yeah, but he's going to haunt you extra. Okay. Yes. You'll see. Okay. You'll see. Uh, oh, okay. And... Robert's Reality says they love The Walking Dead, but they have to wait because they both work different schedules. So they have to wait for the other one to get home from work before they can watch it. And I just want to throw this out there because there's so many of our subscribers and so many people in general that are huge fans of The Walking Dead. And um, I just want to ask everybody who your favorite is. In case you guys didn't know, my favorite is uh, Judith, the baby. <laughs> I got my crossbow earrings in. I got my Daryl Dixon shirt on. That's my favorite. But who is your favorite on The Walking Dead? Oh, knock it off. <laughs> Go. Don't make me go get my crossbow. <laughs> I'll That's, find those arrows. That was my crossbow. I don't care. I'll find those arrows and I'll start shooting you. Mm. <laughs> so anyway, who's your favorite on The Walking Dead? Let us all know. It's kind of interesting. What's today? Sunday? Sunday. Oh! Next weekend we are starting the... Or maybe even one night during the week. <laughs> We got to do the ghost stories. I know. We keep forgetting. It wasn't that we forgot. We just got, time got away from us. Mm -hmm. We're doing so much decorating. I wasn't feeling well today. Yeah, Kevin wasn't feeling well today. Well, he told you guys that, too. Yeah. So. I feel better now, though. Good. Let's decorate. Oops. I set off one of our Halloween props by doing that. We've angered the, the spirits. <laughs> Okay. So, anyway, it's time for Neighborhood Community Credit Roll! Go ahead. Go ahead. You were all, I forgot what I was going to say. Oh my god. You are all part of our neighborhood community, each and every one of you. We would not be here if it weren't for you all. We love you. Thank you. Thumbs up, and we will see you tomorrow.